Okay, class. It's time for language arts. Mr. Joey, may I please use the restroom? Okay, Dora, but please hurry back. Thanks. Ha 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 ha. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh my god, we've got a bomb threat. Hello, there has been a bomb threat at Gunner Elementary School. Its direct location is next to room 219. It's a cardboard box. The wall says it will explode at 12 p.m. today. Since I smelled some charcoal, the bomb must be dynamite. And no, I did not place that bomb. The school will evacuate immediately. All right, see you at scene. Bye. All teachers, faculty and students must evacuate this school immediately. There has been a bomb threat on the second floor. Please evacuate and follow the code of the fire drill now. Come on everyone, we must evacuate or else we could get killed by the bomb exploding. Okay everyone just stay calm, we called police over. Alright you can go to the building to conduct the search on how this happened, and to determine who's responsible for the threat. Alright everyone, the police said you may go back into the school building. However the drill is not over yet as police are investigating this bomb threat, so I expect all of you to be quiet in the classrooms, okay, you may all go back to class. Well that was some pandemonium we've got there, but let's continue our lessons now. Teachers, faculty, and students, we've solved this bomb threat. It turns out to be a false alarm, as no explosives but charcoal was found in the cardboard box placed next to room. 219. The tech department, police, and I have looked through all security camera footage, and the student who placed the box and wrote a threat to the school and scared the crap out of the whole campus to death, appears to be a Hispanic girl, wearing a pink short sleeved shirt and orange shorts, who caused this could be a serious, traumatic, disruption. I must ask Dora Marquez to come down to the principal's office right now, you're in so much trouble with me now. And the lovers, the drill is over so continue business as usual. Serves you right, I should have never accepted your bathroom request. Now since you've been caught as the one who created this bomb threat, you will now explain why you did it. Alright, fine. I just thought it would be funny to experience a bomb threat, and I just did it for a harmless prank. Real funny, and a harmless prank. This was everything but funny and a harmless prank. You terrorized the whole school and scared many people to death. I can't believe you did all this. That's it, you are hereby officially expelled from Gunner Elementary School, but not only that, you are going to jail, because bomb threats are a crime and you need to learn your lesson. No, no, if she were in high school, then yes she's going to prison, but since this is elementary school, we are not gonna do that. I contacted her parents, and told them to come in 10 minutes, and since those 10 minutes have passed, they're here now. Come on Dora, let's talk about your behavior today in the car. Wow! A bomb threat by you, how shameful Dora. But mom, I'm sorry, please, forgive me. No. Your apologies mean nothing cause of the destruction done to the school, I can't freaking believe you created a bomb threat at school, did you know that could've gotten you arrested? But mom, please listen, I was just creating a harmless prank. No. Harmless? Are you friggin' kidding me? Your destructive actions with the box terrorized the whole school, you've scared some innocent people to death, and some have even been mentally and physically injured because of how scared they were of the threat, shame on you Dora. When we get home we will watch the news and if we are charged with a very huge fine, you will be grounded for infinity years. Even worse, the charcoal in the box made school staff and police think there were explosives or Dora you were so so grounded. You're standing. But. Stand. Breaking news, a dumb brat made a bomb threat to the Gunner Elementary School. GNN news crews are at the scene now to make some interviews. Here we are, like, outside the school. We've got some parents of students in major terror right now. Police officers are outside the school to chat with some victims of the threat. This is Danielle Mercier of GNN. And we have a few victims to interview now and they will explain their experiences when the bomb threat happened, which is right here. As you can see, 
The cardboard box appeared to be just charcoal and the wall saying the school will explode at 12 p.m. today has been washed off, but anyways let's get on with this. Now Mr. Cherry, the principal of Gunner Elementary School, what was it like when the girl described as Dora Marquez, made the bomb threat? So, I was going to drop some papers off at the nurse when suddenly I saw a package smelling like charcoal and the wall saying the school will explode at 12 p.m. today. I was so scared to death for my life and for the safety of the people on campus. Dora, you're expelled like I said. The expulsion papers will be mailed by tomorrow. That's all I have to say. Now we will interview a fifth grader in this school, described as Gabriel Winston. Now Gabriel what was your experience? So when the bomb threat evacuation was ordered, five of my classmates went to the hospital because they passed out and had heart attacks because of how scared they were about the school exploding and even killing them. Dora you have changed my life and my family life too that I just want to give you a permanent black eye. I also want to see you in person. To scold you at the top of my lens for putting the school in this much danger. Oh, you've just gotten an opportunity to scold Dora for her actions. Her home address is 784 Fort Wax Avenue in Double Mill, North Carolina. Also, anything else you need to say? No, I'm good. All right then. Back to the studio with you, Eric. Thank you, Danielle. So, if you'd like to scold Dora in person, here's the address again. 784 Fort Wax Avenue in Double Mill. North Carolina. Damage bills will also be mailed to Dora's family by the end of this week. I am Eric Halen with GNN News. I can't believe the damage you've done Dora. Your father and Abuela are also aware of what you did. Oh oh oh! Dora is on the news. She cannot freaking believe you made the bombs at that school today. This is the one of the worst settings you did at the school Dora. Try attending to explore the school. That's it. You are so grounded, grounded, grounded for 49,586 years. You go to your room. And never come out.